in LA. Five minutes late. <laughs> I, w I was late this morning. That's I, all right. I did not want to wake up this morning. I slept for about three hours. Gavin was up bow fishing last night and slept for like an hour. So we're off to your private land deal. Yep, private land. I'm gonna do some turkey hunting this morning. So, <clears throat> Ugh. way too early for this. <laughs> but it's worth it because we're. We're going after turkeys today. That always makes it worth it. That's true. I think. I don't know. I'm also a little crazy when it comes to turkeys. So. Hopefully we can get on one this morning. I don't know if they're going to be gobbling or not. <coughs> gobbling or not. I don't think it really rained last night. so. Nope. Didn't rain at all. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. We'll see what their attitude's like this morning and we'll go from there, I guess. But until then, we got like an hour drive <laughs> before we get there. So, yep. see you guys when we get there.
think he's at. And, uh, well, he just gobbles. He doesn't sound too far away. So Down that way. Yeah, he's down, down that way. Bad thing is, we can only see four or five rows in. So, if we do end up seeing him, he's going to be right on top of us. It's probably 200 yards-ish. Yeah. Sounds like there's two. There are two different gobbles. Yeah, a bunch of hens, too. that direction. See anything? Nope. Can you see that corner down there? No, I can't. And th there's that corner, and then there's a roll. I yell the rules. And you can't see the bottom of that. I wouldn't be surprised if you tried popping out in this field. Yeah. I wonder if you'd be able to get the decoy set up quick. I think I can crawl. You're probably gonna have to crawl, yeah. Man, this area. There's scratching in here all over. It's a turkey rich environment. Sounds like he's either been. Oh, there you go. <laughs> he's right down there. He's either in the timber and that comes into a bowl. Does it? There's a little bit of woods, then an open field, and then it's just like a big bowl. Okay. Well, maybe we can try some aggressive calling. Let's see if that'll get him fired up to go this direction. Try some Jake calls, maybe.
was hoping to get the hands over here too. Shut up for a while and we'll get curious and try to come this way. Well, we've got a turkey goblin on the property. I know he tried setting up here and I don't think he's coming this way. But he's in, pretty sure he's in a field uh, to the south of us here. We're going to try to make a move and get a little bit closer. See if we can't work with him or something here. It doesn't sound like he's interested in heading this direction right now. The goblin heard this morning, though, which is pretty awesome. No clue. He just shut up. Yep. No, I don't know. I don't know if he found a hen or something and may have been chasing her or what. I expected him to be out in this field. I think he was. Either down here or up there. Yeah. There is another set of fields up on top of this ridge that they like to go to. We could take a peek. Try set up down here for a little bit until he starts gobbling again. Well, what do you want to do? <laughs> Debating. <laughs> so we just gotta figure out where he's at right now. Right. We could try a little bit of calling. Yeah. See if he'll respond. Yeah, we'll just maybe sit out here for a little bit. All right.
Jake. Yep. Possibly. Where's that goblin coming from? Perfect. Hopefully she walks away. I cannot move right now. I can't even see where she's at. on the right. Coming in hot. There's two. I must try calling here quick. There's a group. They see you. No. They saw something they didn't like, I think. Or were they just looking for the head? They're just looking for the head. All right. Because well, as soon as that one started walking, three more were behind him. Yeah, I saw the tail fan. All right, we should just let him walk by so we can repossession. Yeah. I'm starting to lose feeling in my feet.
museum. Shot that's for you. Take the lead one. Yep. Here you go, get him, go get him. Another tree right there. <laughs> All right, that was a little rough. But. Yeah, <sighs> haven't ran that much in a while. <coughs> Same. <coughs> no, I hate it. I hate it when it's a bad shot. Yeah. That was 40 yards though. Yeah. <coughs> well, we should aim just a little bit higher. Well, you definitely hit him. That was the Jake of the group. That was the Jake. I think so. The lead one. Yeah. I think it was a Tom. I have a beard. Looked kind of small, unless it was drooping down maybe well either way if for a one day hunt Not one morning bad. that's all i had <laughs> <laughs> i can't believe it worked out i know what do you got there nice little jake not bad were they all jakes or there was a bigger one when i saw when we started running yeah he was fanned out on the back side of that hill. But, I know I saw a Tom. I saw a long yeah. beard. Oh, I'm happy with it. Good. Better be. Trying to run like that. <laughs> nice four inch beard. 
Yeah, it's a turkey, all right. Did you know it was a Jake when you shot? Yeah. Okay. Yep, I knew it was a Jake. I couldn't see too good through the trees. Yeah. No. I was hoping one of those back ones was going to be a bigger one. That's why I waited. There's but probably Tom in there. I thought I saw a long beard. Yeah, that first one when they first went across, that long I saw a long beard. Yeah. But. I don't know which one it was. There was three of them, weren't there? Two were hens. Oh. It was him and two hens. Okay. And then the Tom was on the back side of the hill. Ah. But. Uh, he might have come over. Who knows? But you can't really risk it. Right. <laughs> I mean, you could. <laughs> Opportunity presented itself, and here we are. Yeah, filled your tag. Yes, it did. All right, cool. Well, I guess we can head back to where it started and yep. uh, grab our gear. Right. <laughs> Left everything behind. Yeah. Quarter, quarter mile that way. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. I had to shoot my first one twice too. Well, it happens sometimes. <laughs> uh. Uh, it's a nice looking bird. It is. A lot of blue, a lot of blue throughout. Yeah. Never seen a... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm dying over here. <laughs> I've never seen a Jacob closer before. Really? Mm. Never shot one before? Nope. I've been blessed to have long beards so far. I see that. Well. <laughs> Any turkey's a good turkey, in my opinion. Absolutely. I'd take a shot at Jake if that's what I had, <laughs> for sure. Yep. So, uh, I guess we really haven't talked much about the property. You want to kind of fill them in on that a little bit? Yeah. Um, so I hunt southwest Wisconsin. It's about 250, 260 uh, private acres. Um, Family-owned property. Um, during turkey season, it's not very pressured. Uh, birds are kind of hard to find, but once you find them, they're everywhere. <laughs> uh, I've been blessed to be able to hunt this property for the last about 10 years. Yeah, I'm, I'm super humble and proud to, proud to put this bird in the freezer. So, I want to thank Joe for filming for me, coming with today. Yeah. I know he had to work last night, so he didn't get much sleep, but... I got three hours. That's all I need. <laughs> Plenty, huh? Exactly. We're turkey hunting. That's true. I don't need sleep. <laughs> uh, uh, thanks for letting me come with you. That was fun. Yeah, anytime, man. Uh, so, definitely uh, do it again. Oh, I'm looking forward to next year, like I already told you. <laughs> this is fun. I love turkey hunting. I like it more than deer hunting. Maybe I'm crazy, but... Yeah, I think you might be crazy with that one. I, I wouldn't go that far, but I will tell you, even though it's a, it's a Jake, it's still got my adrenaline pump, and it's my first bird in, I think, eight years, so been a long time coming <laughs> about time you ended that streak yeah yeah had a goose egg for way too long so yeah, yeah so this morning we came out here <clears throat> the plan was uh well you said there's an area where they like to roost on the ridge and there's a field down below where they usually pitch down to in the mornings yep so that was our original plan we heard them gobbling this morning uh, as you guys will hear in the video um we already heard uh they were gobbling pretty good but they started moving off in the wrong direction away from us so off to the neighbor's field which is usually what happens every time <laughs> well whenever you're hunting them yeah they, they go <laughs> the wrong direction so we heard another one gobbling actually right behind us here um so we, we picked up because we figured you're not going to go after birds that are on somebody else's property if they're moving away from it they probably got hens and it's probably not going to work out so we heard this other one gobbling so we're like well maybe we can you know, get around him to wherever direction he's going. It sounded like he was heading north. Turns out he was, uh, we don't know where he was heading. <laughs> he was just kind of hanging out in this general area. Um, yeah. He was gobbling, gobbling, gobbling. We tried to move closer and he just disappeared. Yeah. Yeah, he shut up and we couldn't find him. <laughs> Not sure what happened with that, but it seems like all of them kind of shut up for a while there. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. And, um, and then we had that hen where we were originally set up because <clears throat> I was cutting a little bit over there. Well, yep. we, we were both cutting a little bit. And calling together try to sound like a couple hens maybe get something to come in um so then we moved we moved over to here and then now we hear where we originally were a hen cutting and yelping and yeah she 
she came in on a string. I mean, she walked what, 10, 15 feet away from you? She was well, closer than that, probably. <laughs> she was probably six yards away from me. Yeah, she was right there. <laughs> that was crazy. Um, that's pretty amazing. Like, it was neat to see that because they don't get to see that very often, you know, right. how hens interact with each other. I, I've never witnessed that before either. Yeah, that was a pretty unique experience, I think. Definitely. But. It's neat to see how, I think she was just aggravated because there was another hen in her area and she's like, what are you doing here? What's going on, you know? And I think that the cutting got her to come in and I think this is actually one of the birds we heard gobbling this morning. Maybe not this one, but there was, what, two jakes you said in the town? Yeah, there was, there was at least two jakes and uh, one long beard that I saw. Uh, he stayed, he <clears throat> of course, stayed on the opposite side of the hill, but yeah. Yeah. So then we heard a gobble after this hen went behind us and we couldn't move for what felt like forever. Probably a good 30 minutes. Had, it had to be that. She was just yeah. cutting behind us like crazy. Which is not a bad thing, because I mean, when you got a, a live hen cutting and yelping and stuff, then yeah, you got a pretty good chance of a gobbler coming in, because that's about as real as it gets right there. Yep. As far as Colin goes. So we had her working for us in the back, and uh, we heard a gobble coming from the direction where the hen came from. Gavin told me he could see the birds on top of the ridge there. You said you could see the, the fan? I, yep, I could see the top of his fan. He, I mean, he was strutting. I mean, he was putting on a show for the hens that he was with. So eventually, the, what was it, did Jake and a couple hens work their way down? I couldn't see yep. very well from where I was, unfortunately. Yep, so this one was the lead bird. Um, Jake and following right behind him was two hens. The tom stayed on the back side of the hill, like I said. Uh, couldn't see him anymore. And Jake... They were going to come, they were working like they were going to come right to us. Uh, and all of a sudden took a little turn and kind of stayed out on the ridge. Um, 40, 45 ish yards. So something happened. It wasn't quite the best. But. Yep. It wasn't, wasn't the best shot. Uh, I mean, it happens. Everybody, everybody makes mistakes. You learn from them. Um, the bird ran off. We had to go chase him. Um, <laughs> and run that much. <laughs> yeah. But end result, uh, put another shot in him, you know, ended it quick and humane, um, you know, the ethical, ethical thing to do, so. He is still gobbling. Told you. He's still going nuts he, over there. He's all kinds of fired up. <laughs> Man, fires me up. <laughs> so I, I mean, basically our strategy today was try to get where we thought the birds were going to be. And then when they weren't there or went somewhere else, just had to move on a different one. And when that one disappeared, <laughs> we were kind of at a loss there for a while until the hen started yelping. Yep. And I was like, ooh, we might be back in the <laughs> game here. And then he gobbled, and it just kind of all played together. Yep. But it wouldn't, probably wouldn't have if we wouldn't have moved and, you know. Yeah, moving around definitely helped uh, cover more ground, um, find different groups of birds, you know. Uh, come fall, usually when I'm deer hunting, I, I'm out, out in the woods a lot more than I am during turkey season, so I see a lot more uh, turkeys. And I mean, we'll, we'll have groups of 30, 40, 40 birds in different areas of this farm, so. Yeah, it's always nice to know. Plenty plenty of birds. <laughs> there are so many turkeys around here. I told Gavin earlier, I feel like I'm in turkey paradise right now. <laughs> Just gobbling on every ridge, it seems like. But that was fun. Glad Definitely. it worked out. Yep, me too. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you like the video, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I mean, we do the best we can out here. Now, the footage probably wasn't that great, but, you know, the results are what really matters. And we try to explain exactly how we're doing things to make things happen. So, um, yeah, that's kind of our goal here is just to show you guys how us normal, average people <laughs> make things work. So. Do it yourselfers. I mean, we all got full-time jobs, and like I said earlier, I had one day to hunt. This is my only morning I can hunt, so I'm, I'm glad it worked out. Yeah, came together. Congratulations. Thank you. It's about time you got another yes. turkey. Yes. All right, we'll see you guys later. <laughs>